mail for me? Oh, yes, indeed. Here you are. Ah, a new catalog. Can afford to buy anything that's in it, but it's free and it's fun to look at. Charles. Yeah. You know about what happened with Carl. Yeah. Well, I was very upset. And now his little heart's just about broken about not going. Oh, well, the girl's told me. I think he's learned his lesson. But now I can't get Isaiah to change his mind. Surprising. It's usually the easy one. I know. Trouble is, I told him that, and now he's trying to show me just how firm he can be. Would you talk to him, please? I'll give it a try. Oh, thank you, Charles. I'll right. we'll see you later. Goodbye. Old Dan Tucker's fine old man, watch his face in a frying pan. Combed his hair with a wagon wheel. Dined with a good cake in his heel. Get out the way for old Dan. I'm all through for the day. Yeah, me too. We gotta get an early start tomorrow morning. Well, you name it. Uh, what do you say I pick you up at your place? Five o'clock. Sounds good. I'll be ready. Yeah. Carolyn's gonna make lunches for us. How many you gonna be needing? Uh, just one. Still haven't changed your mind about the boy, huh? Always well, gotta learn his lesson. I know that, but we don't make mistakes. First, everybody thinks I'm too soft with the youngins. Then the first time I punish them, they think I'm too hard with them. Well, I didn't say that. I told the boy he can't go, and I'm gonna stick to it. Do what you think is right. See you in the morning. All right. so late. I was doing some extra studying. With the light out? I didn't want to wake up John or Alicia. Oh. Now you get back to sleep right now. Yes, sir. And no more studying without a lamp. It's not good for your eyes. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, Pa. Good night. What time are you leaving in the morning? Right and early. You certainly were quiet at supper. I had a long day. Did you see Carl's spelling test? He got an A. Yeah, I saw it. That boy certainly is working hard at his studies, isn't he? I best get on the bed. Isaiah. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And I tell you, 
Better make some extra sandwiches for that trip tomorrow. Well, that boy eats like a horse. I will, I say. Self esteem bath, didn't you? You kids be careful. Yes, sir. He done that on purpose. No, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Come on, why you looking? Are you gonna fill this tank or are we gonna take root here? Filling her fast as I can. I want to tell you something. When I was riding farming, I could do it a lot faster than you're doing it. They must have had faster water in the old days. Oh, you're a regular comic, aren't you, huh? Now you do your work and leave the talking to me. Plenty porridge, yeah, that's what it has. Yeah, it should be. He's got his name all over it. <laughs> hey, kids. You having fun? Sure are, Pop. We walk clear around the front end of the train. Now we're going to walk around the back end. Oh, yeah, they're known to do that whenever you get too close to them. Yeah, we'll be done alone in about half an hour. We'll meet you back at the station, all right? Yes, sir. Hey, see ya. See ya. See ya. Ah, it's a fine-looking boy, that Carly. Eh? <laughs> well, I've been listening to you brag about your kids long enough. Now it's your turn to listen to me. Right, go right ahead. Well, that Carly's a wonder with his hands. You know, last week, he kept rebuilding the ladder up in the treehouse. You get... Where'd you go? I'd go all the way to California and never stop till I see the Pacific Ocean. If you had enough money for me, I wouldn't. I'd go just the opposite way. To Boston and New York City if I had enough money. Not me. I'd go way far. To China. On a train. There's an ocean, silly. Oh, yeah. You know what that is? That's a caboose. Well, anybody knows that. Don't go up there. If the train moves, you can get hurt. Girls, come on. No one will care. Ooh, ooh. Wait for me. So it won't break. We shouldn't touch anything in here. Don't hurt to look. Close. Put those back. I'm not hurting them. I'm just looking. What do you suppose they are? I think Mary's right. You better put him back. It says danger on him. Now put him back. Girls. All right, I'll put him back. But I'd still like to know what they are. Nothing dangerous about these? No, they don't belong to us. They wouldn't want this one. Why not? I already took a bite of it. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. 